welcome to the spoiler video for anime. So, I'm making a separate video um, for Annabelle spoiler review. Uh, if you don't want to hear any spoilers for it, head over to my other video. I made a non-spoiler part. Um, either hit the link in the description or click on this annotation and it will send you right to the video. So let's get into it. Now, the only reason why I'm making a spoiler version uh, for this movie is because there are some parts where I just want to discuss uh, and I can't say about spoiling the movie. So. I'm going to start out with a few things. It's not going to be in order. It's all going to be jumbled up. Uh, I'm going to start with the black lady that the main character meets. I'm very sorry, but I can't remember the names. Mia. Mia is the name of the wife. Haha. <laughs> I remembered. Mia, uh, you know, she makes his friend in some bookshop. I think she works there, owns it. I'm not sure. They didn't really explain that. Unless If they did, I wasn't paying attention. There's the part where um, they're talking and the black lady, I can't remember her name, which is upsetting me, but the black lady is explaining to her, you know, she lost her daughter and she puts her hand on the table and you see a scar on like her, on her wrist and at first I was like, was she attacked by demons? No, she wasn't. <laughs> It was because she cut herself, because she, she was going to commit suicide from the death of her daughter, and the daughter died uh, in a car accident, she was in a coma for three weeks, she, she woke up and she was dead. This is not in the movie, this is all what she told Mia, the wife. Uh, and there's a whole section about it, but there was a whole part where I thought like that black lady was like, she's part of a cult, holy crap, she's the leader. No, she wasn't. Uh, but... The reason why I'm explaining, I'm, I'm like introducing her into this is because she's important to the ending. And if you see the movie, you know what I'm talking about. This is a spoiler version, I'm just going to say it. She dies. Now, she doesn't just die. The very ending of the movie, Mia, the wife, uh, is shouting out because they took Leah, the, the baby, her baby was named Leah. Leah, Mia, don't get confused. And she's like screaming at the demons or whatever it is at Annabelle, the doll. Um, remember, the doll's not the doll's not the one that's possessed. It's they're using the doll. Has I think the priest called it? They use items or objects as conduits. Um, when I heard that, I was the first thing that came to my mind was infamous. If you don't know what that is? Look it up. Uh, but there's a whole part. Um, in the ending of the movie where she's shouting out for where the baby is and she's yelling out, you know, what do you want? And then it goes to us, it, 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 there's a, the camera's like looking at the open door and you see a crayon roll out. And she goes in there, it's, it's in the trailer where she looks at the ceiling and it's like her soul, her soul and stuff. And then she looks towards the window and it says your soul and she's pretty much, they're pretty much saying like, kill yourself for us so we can take your soul and we can give you your baby. And then she grabs Annabelle, she's standing in the window, and then there's a whole intensive scene where the black lady's trying to get inside. Um, the reason why she's trying to get inside is because she was literally, like, punched in the face. Not literally punched in the face, but she was, like, just pushed out of the house, like, out of the apartment, actually. Out of the apartment, uh, to, you know, like, the demons are like, get the hell out of here, pretty much. So they're trying to, like, open it, and then the husband's running from the hospital, the husband's a, a doctor. And he's just running, trying to get up there because the priest told him, like, by the way, the priest took the doll, and he got his ass kicked by that. Uh, so the priest was telling him, like, you know, it's, you gotta go save her or some shit. And they stop her. She doesn't jump off, but they're talking. And this is the part, if you watched my first review, you know why I was so upset about the ending. And this is why. The ending is literally that the husband's telling the wife, like, don't do it, don't do it. You know, blah, blah, other ways, whatever. And then I saw the black lady and I was like, she's not going to fucking do this. She picks up the doll, goes to the window, and jumps off with the doll. She says she's doing it, you know, to save her daughter and stuff. And then it shows the doll, like, on the ground, and then she's dead and she's blood and stuff. And I was like, that was such a shortcut ending. Like, I'm not saying that in general was the bad ending. I'm just saying the way how it happened. It was so quick. It was just like, oh, Mia's going to kill herself. No, wait a minute. She's going to kill herself. She's going to sacrifice whole, her soul to a demon 
so they can live. What? No. That was so stupid. I... That ending was so dumb. I just... Oh my god, I just... I didn't like that. I didn't like that ending at all. Other parts, um, parts that didn't really disappoint me was um, the jump scares. And I didn't talk about all the jump scares in my first review. What well, is because uh, some of them I don't want to explain. But there was uh, a section where she's like in the basement, I guess where the storage is, where like everybody lives in the building and the apartment have their own separate storage thingy, whatever. And uh, she gets stuck in there, there's a demon looking devil thing chasing her. Creepy as fuck, that, that got me. Because that, that really did get me, because there's a part where you see the uh, like an old style sc stroller. And by the way, it took me a, a while to actually figure it out, but I was like, oh, they're not in modern times. They're like in the 50s. I, I, was it? I don't know if it was 50s or the, maybe it was the 60s. I don't know. Early, mid 60s, whatever time it was. It was just everything old style. Old cars, old black black and white TV, old like style strollers. You know, the ones that are like that. You know, they're weird looking. So it, it comes out from the background and uh, you hear a crying baby. This baby's crying is like... Like, somebody's, like, killing this baby or something. Goes over there, and it's, like, blood on it. I forgot what happens, honestly. That's how forgettable some scenes in the movie were. Uh, you know, demon scares, or demons chasing her. She gets in the elevator, she's pressing the button. And I kept thinking to myself that when the elevator door closes, as soon as it closes, like, the demon's gonna, like, jump at the door, and then it closes. And that didn't happen, sadly. Uh, maybe I was too predictable. Um... But it kept looping and looping around like she couldn't get off, like the, she couldn't get off the, uh, the floor. Uh, and then she ran for the exit, ran up the stairs, and the thing is, um, she actually got scratched by the demon. And it's like on her, on her hand or on her forearm, wherever it was, uh, and it was like the, the sign for the cult, you know, that's going after her. Things happen, middle of the movie, blah, 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 um... It's just certain things that I didn't feel that were fit in the movie. And if they did, too predictable. Now, I don't know if it's just me predicting the scenes too easily or it's just they are too easy to predict. Like, some people, I watch a lot of horror movies. And for somebody who always watches a lot of horror movies, they will understand how, how things go. It's like, it's like if someone would watch only romance movies. How will most of them end? They end up together. It's always a good ending. Not always, sometimes. You know, just final word on this re spoiler review is uh, I just wish they changed some things, especially that ending. I just didn't like it. I didn't like that ending, and especially the very, very ending, like after the black chick um, jumped off the uh, jumped off the window. I saw it six months later, um, and the doll was like taken or something. They don't know. The detectives took it. And by the way, in the shot where they showed the black lady and the doll, they showed it like two or three times, and like the last time they showed it, the doll wasn't there, so it was like, it's gone. It's vanished, whatever. And then it goes to the store, and this old lady goes in there and buys it, and then it shows like the Warren family has it in their, in their like, in a glass box thing, and a priest comes by uh, every two months to, uh, uh, whatever it's, I don't know what it's called, I'm sorry. Uh, this... They, I'm sorry, I don't know what it is. Uh, bless it. Woo, my, my brain. Uh, he comes every two months to bless the, the doll, I guess, so it doesn't go crazy. Uh, and it's pretty much the ending of... Um, not the very, very ending, but it's pretty much like how The Conjuring ended. With the... Um, it zooming in into the, the, the spinning thing that's possessed. So you, if you saw The Conjuring, you know what I'm talking about. That little mirror thing where it plays that song like, you know, that creepy so like song. It's like that. You think something's gonna happen, it just goes, doom, and movie credits. Uh, and that moment, I was like ready to get up. I was like, yeah, this is done. As soon as the movie ended, I got, I, I got the hell out of there. If there's an after credit sequence, do bad, whatever. Ending pissed me off. Uh, yeah, I just wish he'd change that ending. That ending was so... No. Why? Anyway, that's about it for my spoiler review. Um, 
If you're interested in anything else I'm going to be doing on this channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you like the video, and stick around to see more. Bye!